Another day, another dollar. In this also changing world we call truck driving. Now the new year is coming up next week. It's coming up fast. Do you have a plan for 2024? Because if you don't, it is okay. Find a mentor. Come up with a plan. Execute the plan. If the plan don't work, go back to the drawing board. Figure out a new plan. Put it back in action. If that plan don't work, just repeat the process, baby. But having no plan at all will get you absolutely nowhere. Okay, so you got to have a plan. It's okay if you don't hey, if you don't have a plan, you can get a plan. I do recommend if you uh, don't have a plan, come up with a plan with a mentor. You can find mentors uh, in trucking, outside of trucking, and you ain't got to do nothing with trucking. You find mentors, you know, in some other type of field. Go talk to a banker, you know, whoever you need to talk to. Just come up with a plan. That's all I want you to do. Now, I've been talking to my mentors, and I have told them, now, I understand my situation is is probably about 99% different than almost all truck drivers out there, okay? So, with my situation, I can invest majority of my income, which is what I plan to do in 2024. All the income I make, I plan to invest it. That's what I'm doing for 2024, mostly into the stock market, you know. But I do want to invest into property also. Not saying I'm going to invest in the property in 2024, but I do want to invest in two property while I got this CDL. So the thing I've been talking with my mentor about is I got a couple of options for next year. Option number one, I can learn how to fly planes. I can get my private power license. You know, it's going to obviously take time. It ain't going to happen overnight constantly going doing lessons every week until i can work my way up to get my private power license that's option number one the problem with that option is i don't plan to be a commercial pilot so it would more be for fun just to get my private and that's pretty much that's about as far as i probably take it as private power license you know because you can make six figures driving a truck you can make six figures flying a plane, but the difference, yeah, you can make more money flying a plane, but it's controlled, just completely controlled. Trucking is more freedom, okay? So that's option A right there. Option B, since I plan to, in the future, invest in the property, what I was talking to my uh, mentor about is, This year, I knew trucking was going to be bad, so I dipped off into the insurance industry, started learning that, started learning property, started learning auto. By the way, uh, speaking of uh, insurance, I just passed my State Farm auto exam, so I am now certified by State Farm to handle all of their auto and property claims, okay? So I just passed the auto exam. I got a 92 on the exam, so... You know, but I know y'all probably thought I was done with the, with the insurance. Look, I'm licensed to do, I'm licensed to do insurance. Okay, it don't expire tomorrow. Just in case we get there. Okay, anyways, so option number two is because I've been looking on YouTube, YouTube University. That's where I learn this stuff from. If I plan to invest in the property. Okay, and when I say invest in the property, obviously I'm talking about, you know, cheap homes. I'm not talking about buying some quarter of a million dollar house, something like that. That's not what I'm talking about, like, you know, fits up, or rehabs. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so what if I learn, since we're going into a new year, a skill that would help me if I was to, let's say, get a property that's, that's $50,000, for example. It needs some work done to it. You may have to remodel the house, blow out the walls, build it back up. What if I learn how to do 
framing. I believe it's called carpentry. I believe is what it's called, carpentry. What if I learned that skill? While I'm investing my money into the stock market, I learned that skill right there so that whenever I get my first property, I can do a lot of the work myself. So that thought did cross my mind. Learn carpentry, okay? Learn framing. But how would I do it? That's the thing. That's the thing. I actually started looking at a school here in Nashville. It's called TCAT. It is a Tennessee College shit i don't even know what it stand for yeah i really don't but it's downtown okay but they got a website just google um uh, tcat i believe i believe that's the name of the school but they got building construction technology that they teach up there i believe it's about a year course or a year program or whatever what it's about seven thousand dollars no problem paying the seven thousand dollars but what i learned how to do what it is i need to do now in the course now, they teach you more than just carpentry. It's carpentry, electrical, and plumbing, okay? Three skills I would love to have, okay? If I can learn those three skills right there, it makes me even more comfortable to invest in a fits upper, okay? But uh, I would want to learn those skills, okay? So you guys get in the comments and let me know, you know, because I know it's a lot of older guys out here. You know, uh, give me some information because Andrew don't got all the answers. I'm still looking into it. I feel like if I learn that skill versus flying, that skill would uh, make me more money in the future. Okay, so, you know, just, just something to think about. Just something to think about because I got, you know, time on my hands. As y'all can see, I don't have to go OTR anymore. So because I don't have to go OTR no more. You know, I'm local. If y'all want to know what I, I'm local. I'm a local driver, you know, and I make six figures. That's all you need to know right there, baby. Now, not a boo-boo, baby. <laughs> My fleet is on Amazon. But anyways, enough of that. So, I think that's what I need to do. Now, the problem with the college part, because I emailed the college, is full-time. I don't think I could do full-time. I emailed them to try to get a schedule to see, like, what time the classes are. I don't think I can do full-time. I will have to be, like, part-time. But we'll see. They have to email me the schedule and let me know what's up. And I don't even know if it's hands-on, because I got to do the hands-on. I can Nothing wrong with learning the book and all of that. You know, I've been to college before. I need the hands-on. I need to go out there and physically put my hands on some on some wood. Let's do the framing for real. Let's do the electrical for real. Let's do the plumbing for real. I need the hands on. I take the certificate too, though. Give, give me the give me the give me the license. My mind is racing. We're gonna come back with another video. Just just some food for thought. See, even Andrew's trying to come up with a plan. That's how you guys need to be thinking. I got to have a backup plan other than trucking. Nothing wrong with trucking, though. We're going to keep making money with trucking. Anyways, that's the video for right now. When I uh, come back with another subject, I'll let you guys know. Shannon used to work for the government. She would test soil. Mm -hmm. And I would want this to be contaminated and get free sod. Right. Man, come on. <laughs> All right. Now, another thing I do, 
I put my unit up yeah. in the attic. Yeah. So you put your HVAC unit in the attic? I use, I use a split system. I, use, I put my blower in the attic and I put my condenser outside. Here's the reason why. If you put your heat and air unit in the floor in these smaller homes, that register is going to keep them, it's going to make them have limited space where you put furniture. Well, not only that, if someone has allergies, when that register in the floor, you're going to push, you're going to push dust over in there. All right, now look, by that register being up there over their head, this unit right here will probably run about in the winter time. It might have a high bill of about seventy-five dollars a month. Wow. 